Hello and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we get started, I'm gonna say a blessing. Blessed art thou, Donai Elohim, your King Universe, who sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, you sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people who Jehovah. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for sake fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai Elohim, your king universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten you, may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is Ezekiel 28, 25 through 29, 21. <clears throat> Thus says Lord Elohim, when I gather the house of Israel from the people among whom they are scattered, and manifest my holiness in them in the sight of the nations, they shall dwell in their own land that I gave to my servant Jacob, and they shall dwell in it, and they shall build houses and plant vineyards, and they shall dwell securely. When I execute judgments upon all their neighbors who have treated them with contempt, they will know that I am Yahweh their Elohim. <coughs> In the tenth year, in the tenth month, and on the twelfth day of the month, the word of Yahweh came to me. Son of man, set your face against Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and prophesy against him and against all Egypt. Speak and say, Thus says Yahweh Elohim, Behold, I am against you, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, the great dragon that lies in the midst of his dreams. Thus says, My Nile is my own. I made it for myself. I will put hooks in your jaws, and I'll make... And make the fish of your streams stick to your scales. And I'll draw up out of the midst of your streams with all the fish on your, of your streams that stick to your scales. And I will cast you out into the wilderness, you and all the fish of your streams. And you shall fall on the open field, and not be brought together or gathered. To the beasts of the earth and to the birds of the heaven I give you as food. Then all the inhabitants of Egypt shall know that I am Yahweh. Because you have been a staff of reed to the house of, to the house of Israel, when they grasped and grasped you with their hands, you broke and tore at their shoulders. And when they leaned on you, you broke and made all their lions to shake. Therefore, thus says. <coughs> The Lord Elohim, behold, I will bring a sword upon you and will cut off from you a man and beast. Cut off from you, man and beast. And the land of Egypt shall be a desolation and a waste, and they will know that I am Lord. <coughs> because you said, the Nile is mine, and I made it. Therefore, behold, I am against you and against your streams. And I will make the land of Egypt an utter waste and desolation from Migdal to Syene, and as far as the border of Cush. No foot of man shall pass through it, and no foot of beast shall pass through it, and it shall be uninhabited forty years. And I will make the land of Egypt a desolation in the midst of desolated countries. And her city shall be a desolation forty years among the cities that are laid waste. I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations and disperse them through the countries. For thus says the Lord Elohim, at the end of forty years I will gather the Egyptians from the peoples among whom they were scattered, and I will restore the fortunes of Egypt, and bring them back to the lands of Pathros, the land of their origin. And there they shall be a lowly kingdom, it shall be the most lowly of kingdoms, and never again exalt itself above the nations. And I will make them so small that they will never again rule over the nations, and it shall never again be reliance, the reliance of the house of Israel. Recalling their iniquity, when they turn to them for aid, then they will know that I am the Lord Elohim. <clears throat> in the twentieth year, in the first month of the first day of the month, the word of, of Adonai came to me, Son of Man, Nebuchadnezzar, King of Babylon, made his army labor against Tyre. And every head was made bald, and every shoulder was rubbed bare. Yet neither he, he nor his army got anything from Tyre to pay for the labor that he had performed against her. Therefore, thus says 
Adonai Elohim, Behold, I will give the land of Egypt to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and he shall carry off its wealth, and despoil it, and plunder it, and it shall be the wages for his army. I have given him the land of Egypt as his payment for which he labored, because they worked for me, declares Adonai Elohim. On that day I will cause a horn to spring up for the house of Israel, and I will open your lips among them, and they will know that I am Yahweh. <coughs> Blessed art thou, Adonai Eloheinu, King Universe, who gave the Torah of truth to everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah. Brukatah Adonai Eloheinu, Malak Alom, Master. Natan Lanu, Tereti Mat, Devaishie, Alom, Natan, Betaginu, Brukatah Adonai, Natina Torah.